G'day, Sam Bowie here. I am very close to getting off the grid. Uh, if you haven't been watching my videos already, that's a 90,000 litre, 24,000 US gallon rainwater tank. It's been a wet year, that is chock full at the moment. Uh, I live in a rural area, I've got septic. Um, don't have the phone line connected at the moment, although I should, just for safety reasons. I don't get mobile phone servers here. I don't get terrestrial TV service. There's only satellite available and I don't use that at the moment. I've got satellite internet. Slow as a wet week, but it works. Here I've got two 300 watt polycrystalline PV panels. They're 12 volt panels hooked up in series. So there's our details there. So being in series, what it means, the positive wire, positive lead from that panel goes to the negative lead on that panel. The nominal 12 volts, and that means I get nominal 24 volts. The actual voltage is much higher. Optimum conditions is getting close to 40 volts. I'm using MC4 connectors here, 6 millimeter squared wiring. As you can see, I still need to tidy this wiring up. All right, so the wiring goes into this 40 millimeter conduit here. I've got a U-shape there at the top, keeps the rain out. Cables go in. Got a shallow trench there. Go up under the house. Up under the house, another U-bend there. There's my battery bank. 12 2 volt 630 amp hour batteries in series to give me nominal 24 volts. Cable from the panels, both positive and negative, go into this fuse. This is an isolator as well. It's just a matter of pull that out. And there are the fuses there, 40 amp fuses. Into my midnight solar charge controller. That's the kid model. So as you can see there, so far today, look at my battery, 26.8 volts, that's good. 33 volts coming in, 4.7 amps currently. We're on float, 1.4 kilowatt hours, 52 amp hours. From the charge controller, positive and negative, come into another isolator. This is so that I can electrically isolate just by pulling these two switches, pulling these two fuse blocks. I can isolate the panels and the charge controller from the batteries. Now in the future I'll also have a larger version of these fuse blocks I'll have for the cables from the battery. But in the meantime, I'm using a Blue C fuse blocks fuse block I've got a 150 amp fuse on there 35 millimeter square earth cable I've just you've probably seen me making these up before that's just half inch copper tubing I've hammered flat put the earth cable in Crimp it down with my hydraulic crimper. Heat shrink. That's that. From there, goes to my 2000 watt pure sine wave, pure sine wave inverter. Up to my power board. I've got the whole house running at the moment off of that. And there's my kilowatt meter. Watts clever meter, this one is called. Kilowatt, they're all pretty much the same thing. Now I reset this about 7 a.m. this morning. It's about, uh, what have we got? 10 past 5, Saturday afternoon. 0.124 kilowatt hours for the day. Most of the time I've only had the fridge going. Voltage 231, it's not too bad. High usage 906 watts, that's the defroster on the fridge.
current use is 61 watts. I've got clock radio going inside. I've got my satellite modem. I've got a wireless router and my laptop computer running. And when the fridge is running, it's probably using about 120 watts, but not for very long. So, 0.125 kilowatt hours used, 1.4 kilowatt hours produced. So there you go, I am using a fraction of the electricity that I'm producing. And that's only off of that. This system's able to power my whole house except for the electric stove, the air conditioner, and the lights at this stage. I've got to rig up some 12 volt lighting. But in the next couple of weeks, I'll be going off the grid completely and I'll just get, a by, with, get by with lamps running off of the power boards. Electric stove, I can get by without using that. I'll be getting a wood heater installed soon. I've got propane instant water heating. One feature of the charge controller I've got is that it has a load dump feature. I have an 80 litre, 20 US gallon hot water system, electric hot water system. I've bought a 600 watt, 24 volt heating element for that, so that draws 25 amps. This charge controller is capable of putting out 30 amps on the load dump feature. Uh, when I get around to doing that, I'll also set up another fuse block and once the batteries are at float, excess electricity goes to the water heater and we can just preheat the water before it actually gets used in the instant water system. Just so I can make some use of this excess electricity I'm producing. So anyway, thanks for watching and keep your eyes peeled for upcoming videos on my off-grid journey. I'll talk to you later.